I'm just thought I'd uh, talk about something really important. Um, you might know that this is June, and every year, the whole entire month of June is, well, Pride Month. And I know a lot of people seem to be upset or offended by it, especially if they're conservative or Christian or some other uh, religious group. And I understand that it's against your religion. But I want to take this moment because pride isn't, well, it's not about living in sin or dancing around strip clubs or having sex with the same gender or anything like that. It's a lot deeper than that. And I, I know that it's kind of hard to process if you didn't grow up knowing this, but for a really long time, people were afraid, and they still are, believe me, that if they came out, they'd be harassed, picked on, bullied, fired, tortured, murdered, raped, blocked, banned from anything, and they still are. And I'm talking about the U.S., not some third world country. That is why it exists. Because for one month out of the year, they know that people, most people, who celebrate pride, accept them. It's not even about whether you think gay, being gay is a sin or not. It's about not being murdered before you even get a chance to do anything. have to be gay or accept that you agree with that but please please just know that they are trying to celebrate that they were, we're slowly coming to a terms with a society that actually lets them just not be criminalized or murdered or raped or beaten or fired from their jobs because when that happens, like for example, if they were fired from their job, and they don't have a job, and they can't afford money to, to, for whatever reason, and a lot of them end up homeless on the streets, and there's a lot of laws surrounding homelessness and people who don't have money, and then they get told by those same people who fired them that they just need to go back and get a job and that because they're homeless, they are disgusting. They are told so many things on a regular basis. And if you think Pride Month is disgusting, or that it shouldn't happen, and that straight pride should be a thing, or that you think that they're taking the rainbow flag or the rainbow from God's creation, they aren't. They are taking that because it is like them in the, the book of Genesis where God promised them a rainbow and that he still loves them no matter what. So actually, taking away pride is not Christian. And after explaining all this, if you still disagree with my point, I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're the pastor of a church, small or big. I don't care if you're a police officer. I don't care if you're in the military. I don't care if you're a family member or a friend. I don't care about who you are at all. But if you, about who you are, because if you still believe this after me explained this to you, you are a disgusting person. And I don't appreciate that. And you have some growing up to do. And maybe you need to reevaluate your beliefs as a Christian because obviously you're not really a Christian who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ. That is all.